guys, it's Sarah. Okay, so so much stuff went on last night and I stayed up till like 5 a.m. So I'm like really tired, but it was all worth it because well, I mean, so much stuff went on. Okay, so at first we heard that Louis and his family and Brianna were at some baby store. Like they have baby clothing and the store was called like Petite Tresser. I'm not even know if I'm pronouncing that right. And we saw like Louis's car in front of it. And we all know that this is the time of year where we're probably going to be seeing Harry spotted with a girl, packed with a girl. And we're gonna get like rumors about it. We're going to get like articles about it. December is coming. I mean, we're used to this agenda. People were saying obviously a mega famous pop star who's currently trapped in a big pregnancy scandal going out shopping for baby clothes on Black Friday weekend is something no one but that one insider would notice and talk about. Of course. Like, I totally agree. Like, it's so predictable. Okay, so now the big news about the Rainbow Bondage Bear account. The account that's killing us all. These two bears that are just ruining our lives and making us say, what is sleep? <laughs> okay, so at first they posted this picture and it was a picture of like the Rainbow Bondage Bear next to a computer, like a Mac computer. And people were saying that it's Louie's computer. I don't know how we have that evidence that it's Louie's computer. Like the Rainbow Bondage Bear was watching a YouTube video called Walk Like a Man by Divine. And I don't know why they chose that music video. I don't know like what the symbolism of walk like a man is but everything connected to rainbow bondage bear is like a sexuality or gender topic and if you look at the keys of the computer they're all blacked out except the letters that make up the word rainbow which is pretty clever on their part also if you look on the computer screen you can see the tabs on top and there was a lot of tabs open like something about like a potato convention or something then there was like a gaydar.net type of thing, which is like, you know, obviously like a gay website and Elton John's webpage or something. And then there was the Rainbow Bear Tumblr page. And people were saying it's interesting how Harry was active on Instagram a few minutes later after we found out that the Rainbow Bonnage Bear had a Tumblr account. The Tumblr account is called Mr. RB Bear. Someone messaged the bear saying, I think you're amazing. And he typed back, I would say flamboyant. Also around the same time, Harry liked a photo on Instagram of like a colorful staircase with a heart and it was captioned, found love in a hopeless place. So it's like, I don't find coincidence in any of this timing. On the RBB account on gaydar.net, their about me section says it's complicated, but it's the only way we can tell you the truth. And after they were done answering like a ton of questions that night, they write, we can't answer anything else. We're sorry, we've done too much. And also someone found out that like the Rainbow Bonnage Bear has like a Snapchat. We don't know if it's the real Snapchat because the Rainbow Bondage Bear was saying it's a fake, so we're not actually sure. But I typed to the Rainbow Bondage Bear Snapchat, which is also like Mr. RB Bear, and I said smart dot dot dot, so smart. And then they messaged back a smiley face like a couple minutes later. And then when I go back to it, I like swipe again to see the conversation. They deleted that. I didn't know you could delete it on Snapchat. I'm not really sure. I don't use Snapchat that much, but they deleted it. But no, they answered so many questions on Tumblr last night. Like that's why I was up till 5 a.m. And surprisingly, not a lot were about Larry. Like the questions were actually pretty chill and some were really funny. But lastly, they said that they updated their Gaydar account to say, if you catch this, Larry is real, which sounds familiar because that was seen on Harry's bio for like five seconds and then it got deleted. Again, I don't know if any of this is fake. I don't know if it's Photoshopped. I don't know if it's a hacker. I don't know. This is all just really weird. And their last post of the night on Tumblr was, a giant number three captioned sleep well with love Mr. Bondage Bear or whatever. What I was thinking is that the three symbolizes the number of days and in three days One Direction are going to be at the Jingle Ball which is December 1st. So I was kind of thinking that maybe the number three is a countdown. So I'm thinking that something actually might happen December 1st because that's in three days. Also if you go on the Snapchat of the Rainbow Bondage Bear, if you go to their Snapchat story they posted pictures of like a piece of paper with like a date in the corner. It was like one of those calendar pieces of paper. It said March 25th, 2016. And a bunch of other pics like, oh, do not disturb. Like basically saying like they're they're done for the night. It showed like pictures of like the sheets and stuff. And then the next day they posted a second Snapchat story thing. The first one said 14 hours and then it goes to a picture of a rainbow. So I don't know what this means. Like, does this mean in 14 hours we're gonna get something gay? Because that's what I got from it. And also speaking of accounts and stuff, one once One Direction went back to Los Angeles because that's where they confirmed that they are, the Rainbow Bondage Bear location changed back to Los Angeles. So it just further proves that this account is changing its location according to where One Direction are. If this RBB Twitter account is fake, somebody could be stalking them and changing the location according to where One Direction are at the moment. But you'd have to be sitting at your computer like 
for like all day stalking them and I don't think anyone would be that dedicated. That's why I don't think it's fake. I mean, I don't think the Twitter Rainbow Bondage Bear account is fake, but I think maybe the Tumblr could be. But guys, I think the Gaydar account already was proved fake and plus that got deleted. So there's no more Gaydar account. If you try to look for it, it got deleted. The only way you're gonna see it is if you go on Tumblr and look at all the screenshots. So I find that really sketchy how they decided to delete their Gaydar account. But the Gaydar account was really interesting because in the about me section, like everything sounded like Louis and Harry. Like it said, well, it said like looking for like gay men, but it says I'm looking for like someone who's nice. And it said like brown hair, green eyes. Like obviously anyone can fake an account. I understand this, but I mean, it's just some things in this fandom just seem believable for some reason to me. And then, I mean, I can tell when some things are fake. So I'm not really sure if you're looking for my opinion on if it's real or if it's not. I don't know. But that's basically everything that went down last night. Now, basically, we just have to wait until December 2nd and see if anything happens. And if nothing happens, then we'll just have to wait futurally because the Rainbow Bonnage Bear Tumblr account even said that they would like to come out before 2015, but they don't know. It's basically, this fandom is like missing a day of school. You miss everything. So if I missed anything, put it down below and like always like and subscribe because I make a new video once a week. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.